So before we get started, check out the following links in the description box below as highlighted in the image shown. So you'll be able to get our past papers, uh, our link to our official website, link to accreditations, our link to donation page and uh, uh, contact details in the description so once you'll be uh, watching a certain video of any lesson or of any past paper you'll be able to get all these links and you can be able to get uh, to download past papers uh, to reach to our official website you'll be able to see uh, links to our accreditation so that you can see uh, which uh, authorities have accredited us you'll be able to reach to our donation page as well as our contact details Let's look at question 11. The question reads, which one of the following statement is true about job costing? Which one of the following statement is, which of the is a feature of job costing? We say A is associated with the continuous production of large volume of cost, low cost unit, wrong. Production is carried out in accordance with the wishes of what? Of customer. The job costings we are preparing basing on the demand or what the customer has prescribed. That's why we segregate job one, job two, job three, and then we combine them in a batch costing. Therefore, the production is carried out in accordance with the wishes of customer. The answer is bar. B. Then we are told that I use the, the, the information below to answer question 12 to 15. Lenko Limited manufactures three products X, Y, and Z. The cost per unit and selling price are as follows. Calculate the contribution what? Per unit. Therefore, we can say that a contribution per unit, contributions, for us to get a contributor, we are going to determine, uh, we are going to have X, X, Y, Z. Then we can say it's a selling price. Selling price in this case, your selling price, you have 20, 25, 20. 22 years and then we have to less variable cost variable cost variable cost we have the direct material raw material raw material which is three and then we have four and then we have five and then we have direct wedge which is three, five, four. And then we have variable overhead. Variable overhead, which is five, five, seven. We can find the total. This is six plus this one, you get 11. This is 10, 14. This plus this is 9, plus this we get 16. We said less variable, therefore 20 minus 11, you should be getting 9. 25 minus 14, you get 11. This is a contribution per unit. Contributions per unit. Okay, 22 minus 22 minus 16, you get six do you have that particular answer no therefore in this case they gave the wrong answers because the answer the contributable x is nine y y is 11 and the other one is 11. And then no since we are getting this one now this one they are emanating from that the, most likely they got that wrong answer also Calculate the net profit for each product. Now, net profit, we are to multiply the units produced. Here we say 6,000, then 4,000, and then we had 2,000. 
now this multiplied by this you should be getting 54,000 this by this you should be getting 44,000 as net profit this by this you should be getting 12,000 still they have 54 but here's the debt of 48 they are giving us a wrong answer therefore also this one the answer indicated were wrong and then they say that uh, which of the above product should be discontinued based on the profitability if we could have gotten a loss or the product that will be producing loss therefore we could have advanced the management to drop the product but in this case all of them they are getting profit therefore we can say that none of the products should be dropped why because all of them they are generating profit then we are told to determine the break-even point determine the break-even point in units of the product x break-even point bb in use we talk of the fixed cost fixed cost over contribution contributions per unit fixed cost over contributions per unit do you have the fixed cost yes we can get we are told that the fixed cost total fixed cost is five we, therefore we can just take five five multiplied by the unit produce it was six thousand you get thirty thousand that thousand as fixed cost divided by the contribution for this one contribution by unit was so nine we divide by nine for thirty divide by nine you get three three point three three that is the pre-given point we have that answer also they didn't give the correct answers what does it mean in these multiple choices sometimes they the examiner provide the wrong answers but if you know the way therefore they just you pick the one that is closer now in this case the one that is closer to three thousand most likely they marked for c and this one the one that is closer to that most likely they marked for this one even if it's not a correct answer the answers we got 54 44 and 12 and this one whatever that was closer to this one i guess this is what they tried to do what they awarded that but uh, generally they gave the wrong answers in this case number 16 John for factory incurred the following types of costs which were classified according to their cost behavior. We have blah 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 direct material, direct all of that, and then we are told that a total fixed cost. Therefore, we are going to have the fixed fixed cost, and then we have variable variable cost. We can sell direct material direct material they are in thousands which is a uh, direct material variable it is 190 thousand direct labor is also variable direct labor is 150 then electricity electricity we are told that 30 35 percent that five thousand million is what variable meaning 60 minus 35 25 is fixed and then rent Rand, we are told that is fixed, which was what? Rand 80. Fixed transport. And that is variable. A third is variable. We can talk of 1 over 3. We are multiplying by 45. 
a third is variable which is 15 and then 45 minus 15 you get 30 is fixed and then warehouse you are told that this variable which is 20 and then uh, depreciation depreciation is always fixed which is 10,000 because you are likely to give in like something like 20% depreciation therefore you can find the total 25 plus 80 plus 30 plus 10,000 you have 145 and then uh, that side we have 190 plus 150 plus 35 plus 15,000 plus 20,000 we have 4 at 410 now these are the total fixed cost and is the total variable cost. Roman 1, determine the total fixed cost. Remember they were in thousands. Now in this case, if you multiply by thousands, you will be getting 145. A. Calculate the variable cost per kilogram. Therefore, dot variable cost variable cost per by unit or per kilogram which is the total variable cost which is 410 just introduce those three zeros we divide by the unit produced which are 20 thousand therefore we have uh, 410 we divide by 20 have 2500 per kg if you look clearly in our answers they also didn't give us the correct answer but the correct answer should be 2500 now when we formulate the equation y is equal to a plus bx y a is always the fixed cost means it's going to be y is equal to y is equal to a with your fixed cost we got something 145 plus b which is 2500 we multiply by x but now we are told that if the x is that which is 145 plus multiply by 10,000 what you get just 20.5 multiplied by 10,000. The answer we add to 145. 350 also, this one they didn't give us. They gave us the wrong answers on that. Questions. Then 19, which one of the following is an which is an in is not an inventory cost carrying cost correct cost or whatever set setup cost yes but some cost is irrelevant or the past cost that case we don't include it as part of the inventory cost which one of the following is an advantage of centralized material purchasing where we are giving the only department one department the role to do the acquisitions which one is the advantage we have a close control is possible because we are mining the inventory at one location that becomes the answer thus from 11 to question number 20 how they are supposed to be done but you also remember what i said some of these people they generate the wrong answers right and now in the event they give the wrong answers the way they have done the one they mark is the one that was closer like in this one is 2500 now the one that was closer to this one with the awarded mostly they consider that 
and this one we had at five the one closer to this one it should be this particular money amount that way even if they were not true because in this case they have to mark for each and every questions you can't mark for the person who gave 165 160 but the, it was 350 we look at the one that was a bit closer and if you failed you are to get something closer to 350 shillings so if you like this video you can always enroll with us uh, you'll be able to access more of these revision sessions and uh, also you'll be able to find uh, well done uh, lectures or pre-recorded videos for all the CASNEB courses as well as CHRP and uh, in case of anything you can always reach us out we have our contact details on the screen feel free to call feel free to whatsapp anytime so thank you and let's meet in our next session <music>